Hello, uh, this is the second Saturn, which we believe is dead, so we're going to have a look at that and see if I can try and break it. So, I've got no power on this one. First thing I'll do is just take it apart to give the noise. The screws are quite loose, so I suspect this has been apart before. signs of failure. Let's just check. Okay, well, straight away fuse is dead. Fuse. Whoa! And there goes the voltage regulator. So definitely a short on the power board there. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So here's the power supply I've just taken out and it, uh, by mistake it's not a voltage regulator it's this component here which is a PWM pulse width modulation switch and the part number is TOP202YAI that part is no longer really manufactured and difficult to get hold of but there is an equivalent part that is still manufactured which is TOP224Y so I've ordered some of those because I'm probably going to need them anyway because uh, I've got none to hand at the moment. So what we'll do is I've got another known good power supply and it's a different revision but all the um, all the voltage rails check out okay along here so should be good to test it at least just to see if the board's working and if there's anything that needs doing with the laser assembly. So I'll put that in, I'll give that a go. Hopefully no fireworks. Earlier I quite hastily ripped the power switch cover off and there was a reason for that. This is the original latching switch which I've removed 
and the latch is actually broken. So it was only catching now and again, obviously it's now broken completely because we removed the plastic cover which pulled the arm up. So that's gone. It's not the end of the world, you can get replacements quite cheap on eBay. So what you're looking for um, is a TV 250 volt latching switch and you'll find them quite cheap. And uh, they work exactly the same as the original Saturn ones, nothing special about them. Even the cover fits. And here's one I made earlier. So I'll give that a go with the replacement power supply. Right, here's the Saturn with the known working test power supply installed. And I've replaced the latching switch, as I mentioned earlier. So we've got the power plugged in, no video in case there's any issues. Hopefully we don't have a main board fault which is causing the power supply to fail. So let's uh, turn it on and see if we get any activity. That's looking promising. So we're just going to test the power rails. So ground at 3.3 volts. 5 volts. And a 9 volt rail. So that's all looking good. So happy with that. Let's just test that other ground rail. Yeah, 3.3, 5, 9. That's all looking good. Right then. So what I'm going to do now is um, put the top cover on and see what we get on video out. Right, so I'm just going to power the Saturn on. Okay, so it's back to its factory default. So what we'll do is just check that battery that's in there. It's probably dead. So if I leave that there and put the light on, and we'll see what we get on the battery. So 0 0.6 volts, so it's supposed to be a 3 volt battery, so that's why we've lost the settings. So that needs to be replaced first before we do anything else. Right, replace the battery, so let's crack on with some testing. Forgive that, it's my RGB SCART cable doesn't handle the sync properly. Yeah, there's no backup memory at the moment, so it's all gone. It's a V1.01A Sega Saturn Mark 1. Right, so let's test again. That's interesting. Looks like we've got a dry joint on the vid on the video on the main board. Where's my cable? I suspect it's probably the main board actually. Alright, so we've got Sega Rally. Yeah, we've got a dry joint there. The good news is because it's a power failure, the machine was probably working when it died, so it looks to be raising the game disc without too much trouble. That's good, less work for me to have to do there. But it does mean I can take the whole thing apart to reflow all the joints on the video port. Again, that's the uh, 
sync with my RGB SCART cable. You see the PVM is complaining about it. I can hear it almost reseeking, so that's it probably does want cleaning at the very least. Okay, so it's looking quite promising. So, a bit of work to do. Need to still repair the original power supply, but I'll be waiting on parts possibly for the next three or four weeks for those to turn up from China. But this is looking promising. So, just the video port looks to be needing a bit of reflowing, a dry joint. So, yeah, so two for two resurrected, I'd say, at the moment. I'm happy with that. Right, thanks for watching.